from the Zomba Plateau, Mount Molosa, Malawi, uh, uh, maybe half a hand size, a pretty good size piece. Um, a matrix of uh, predominantly feldspar crystals, as you can see the beige. Then perched on that are some quartz crystals and some agerine crystals. Agerine appears black, it's actually a very dark green. Now I'm going to, I think let's focus on this quartz crystal, which is so interesting. There's a, there's a little diamond window on that edge, so from an esoteric point of view, look at the crystallization, even from a crystallographic point of view. Pretty interesting crystallography happening with the absolutely natural smoky quartzes from the Zomba Plateau, Mount Molosa, Malawi. Of course, these are natural smoky, so they haven't been irradiated or in any way. Funny, uh, in the forming process, quite possibly there was some radiation present causing the smoky color, which is a theory. Have a look at that interesting abstract diamond edge on that side. Then we have some larger agerine crystals running through, jutting out here. Then we have some smaller blades over there. Let's look at the crystallization on the face of that agerine. There seem to be little silver metallic crystals sitting under the determination of the agerine, which would most likely be some ilmenite. Other associations, uh, the cream, the beige, maybe some zircon, quite typically associated with uh, specimens from this deposit. From a display point of view, I'd have it standing on a turntable, would need a stand, so it's not going to stand like this on its own. Going around like that, so an all-round view. Looking from the top down, we'd have this effect. All the way from the Zomba Plateau, Mount Melosa, Malawi. Uh, lovely, gemmy, smoky quartz crystals. Agerine crystals, a dusting of ilmenite, most likely. You see those little silver metallic crystals, most likely little blades of ilmenite. All the way from the Zomba Plateau, Mount Melosa, Malawi.